So I'm Pia. I'm originally from Mexico, so I was born there and I moved to New Zealand when I was 11. And yeah, I'm a wedding photographer, do elopements in New Zealand. When I started the business, I was actually, I started it with someone else. So we were at sort of duo and earlier this year, we kind of went our separate ways. And so now I'm sort of a solo. Having to start again, even though it was, you know, only a short little while, um, was pretty, pretty testing. And I kind of got to ask myself, you know, do I want to continue doing weddings? Like being with someone else under like another name, I was almost like, it's comfortable and you get to kind of hide a little bit. Like making that shift, I remember like talking to a close friend and that's probably kind of what shifted my mind is just through conversation of like, you know, like stuff the tall poppy syndrome, like who cares? Like it's not your, I don't want to get to the end of my life and then realize like I could have, I could have had all these things and I didn't have them because I was too afraid of like sticking out and being a little bit different. A lot of creativity is sort of stifled in the world right now. Um, and creatives from a lot, of, due to a lot of things like lack of community or like the tall poppy syndrome or just really getting busy with like the rat race of having to find a job and not being financially free or uh, people's opinions. Like there's just so many things attacking people's like dreams and truly what they want to do. Security and stability are like concepts that I, I don't know, I don't really, I feel like there are other concepts for me, like things like freedom and trying new things make me really happy. Like I've been at the lowest of lowest. Like I know how far I can, how low I can go. So there really isn't a lot to lose. And learning to kind of not be afraid of that risk and be afraid of failure again has been like massive, massive, because that's kind of been what's driven a lot of my decisions a lot. Like, oh, what if I fail? What if I don't, you know, what if it doesn't work? Or what if it doesn't happen like the way I'm, it's supposed to happen? I have this a sort of belief that I, I am meant to do something. And if, I, if it doesn't work out the way I'm meant to do, I've kind of missed out. I'm tired of like trying to change the mystery of like what I'm meant to do. You know, life is, is like always happening. And I think there's so much more purpose in the tr like the dreaming, like the process of dreaming rather than achieving a dream. You know, like the fact that you're trying and showing up and trying again and trying again. I think there is like, that's where the gold is way more than, oh, I achieved this or I got this. I'm in charge of myself. I'm, no one's coming to rescue me. It's. I'm going to have to be the one accounting to my life at the end of all of this. And I want to be proud of that. And, you know, life is short, truly. Life is going to just throw things at you. And, but life is, uh, you know, I've learned like life is never against you. I think life is for you, but things are going to happen. And the plan is going to change. Surprises are going to come along the way. But yeah, I think if we can learn to kind of surrender to the process and drop you know drop the weapons drop you know we're not fighting life we're not fighting just sort of be and learn to kind of open your eyes and be um just get taken away with like the beauty of things you know the trees or nature um your your parents or your friends who are you know you don't know how long they're going to be with you i think i think those things that's where all the like all the magic is don't do what I did and try to like strive for like half of your life. You know, when you're going up the cliff and you can like stop, look backwards and see that amazing view and take a photo and then keep going, you know? But like take that moment to stop and be sort of grateful for where you're at. Cause yeah, I think it's so easy to, well for me anyways, it's so easy to live in the future and or in the past and forget that it's the now that where the magic is and that's where the moments are happening.